Welcome back to This Old Nerd. I am This Old Nerd. I is Akhtar. First, I want to thank Rob for filling in for me last week. And if uh, you're watching this episode right now, you might wonder, hey, what did you do to your garage? It's a freaking mess. Look at all that stuff. Why is everything pushed to the back? Didn't you have space in there? Well, I did. And so if you pan down, you'll see I have an exercise area now. And since this is California, we don't have a basement and I have a nice office. I don't want to sweat in my office. That's disturbing. In here is where that'll happen. And guess what? We're actually going to do a fitness technology episode later. But today's episode is going to be really quick because the kid just went down for a nap. Now, let me tell you a story. A nice story that happened less than a couple of months ago. My wife comes to me and, and tells me that her phone isn't charging. I said, that's fine. W let me take a look at it. And some crud had developed over the dock connector of her iPhone. So I'm like, okay, that's no problem. We'll go to Apple. It's under warranty. We'll get a replacement. And then I said, oh, by the way, is your stuff backed up? Because they're probably going to give you a new phone. She absolutely freaked out. She started, well, almost crying and explained to me, all the pictures of the kid are on there. You know, this guy is about this big, a little personable fellow. Uh, she's attached to him, so am I. The thing is, she hadn't synced her freaking phone in months. Now, to, in, in, to her credit, she might have tried, but we didn't have all our stuff. If, as you can see again, our stuff was in boxes, so maybe I'll give her the benefit of the doubt she couldn't have synced it properly. So, I came to the rescue. I cleaned off the dock connector. I was able to sync the photos, but now, we have to show a way to do wireless syncing. Now, wireless syncing will happen with iOS 5, but that doesn't exist yet. It's coming up, but this episode is about wireless photo syncing for iOS because I actually had to live through it. Okay, checking the baby monitor, no noise yet. Might interfere with the wireless mic, but let's talk about our options. Now, the first thing I thought of, how can I set up wireless syncing? Maybe what we could do is Dropbox. She could take her phone, pick the photos, and then email it to herself via Dropbox. Uh, that takes a lot of work. It's a lot of active things. You actually have to go to your camera icon, and you gotta go to your photos, and then you have to select five, because only iOS only lets you send five at a time. And even then, you might not get the full quality of the original photo. Why not just send it to Picasso via email? Or via, I don't know, Facebook or any of those things. Well, same thing. It's very, very active. And if this person couldn't, I don't know, take a phone and attach it to a sync cable, guess what? They're not going to email every photo. So I had to think of one that was bulletproof. And I did a lot of research. And normally, we show you like 15 different options. Again, since the kid is sleeping, I'll try to make this quick. We're going to show you the one that worked. That's called PhotoSync. Now we went through a lot of different things, and again, this is the thing that works. This is PhotoSync. Now we're going to show you the actual site on the lower third because it's not just PhotoSync.com. It's a $2 iOS app. And now I know what you're thinking. Couldn't we just do this for free if we jailbroke the device? Yes, you could. However, this is not our device. This is our partner's device. We want to make sure it's running smooth and fine. And so that's why we're using a proper iOS approved blah, blah, blah app. Okay, that's why we're doing this. And that's why we're going to spend two bucks. Because when the photos are lost and you can't find them, you're going to hear more than $2 worth. I promise that. So pay the two bucks, get the app. Now, here's how it works. You go to the PhotoSync site. Come on in. You go to the PhotoSync site and you'll see downloads. There's two pieces. This is very similar to the media server stuff. There's a, a Mac version and a Windows version. Very simple. You run the server on your actual desktop or laptop computer and then you run the app on your phone. Now we're going to show the actual PhotoSync application and again it costs you two bucks by the app for your partner. So here you see the camera roll. Look there's all these pictures of us. Yay! Look there's something that's really red. Anyway, if you take a look, you click this little button here, it is a refresh looking button and it tells you something. Do you want to sync the new ones? Sync all of the photos, mark as synced, receive photos, you can receive photos and videos from the desktop application. We're going to sync files and we're going to say we're going to sync that with, look, you can do it with a computer, an iPhone or a Dropbox. We're going to just do it to a computer and our server's name is Bender, so we'll click that. And there we go. These photos are now uploading to the desktop. Now, because of our limitations and we don't want to wake the kid again, we're sitting right here. So if the shots look boring, I'm sorry. Anyway, we've done a screen share into our server. Name is Bender there. And if you take a look, come on inside. You can see that we have lots of different things. We have Orb running, Zumocast, and this here is PhotoSync. So we're going to click that. We're going to show you how this works. And hit preferences and you'll see 
general preferences. So you can do receive. You can determine where the photos and videos go. Now you can go right to iPhoto or send it to Aperture. Or if you want, like we like using Picasa, you can actually just select a folder. So this is something you get to set up on your own. If you want, you could actually have this path go to your Dropbox so it's automatically backing up to the cloud on top of what it's doing on its own here. So we're gonna check out Send. You can also send photos from your library over to the phone or iPad. It's actually a really neat feature. So if for some reason you have to change phones or you get a second device, you can send files very, very quickly over Wi-Fi. Now this is something very important. Do yourself a favor. In the general preferences, set this to on login, launch photo sync on login, because otherwise when your partner tries to sync photos, if that server is not running on your server, well guess what? No syncing. No syncing means lost photos and videos. And you know what you can do about that? Nothing. There's nothing you can do about that unless you recreate all the memories again. This episode of This Old Nerd is brought to you by KillingTime.TV. It's the entertainment review podcast dedicated to find the entertainment that does not stink. Take a look at it at KillingTime.TV. You might recognize one of the hosts. Uh, he looks a lot like me and actually looks like one of the hosts of uh, the other episodes. So watch that show because it's awesome. If you like that ad, you can have your own ad right here. Go ahead and check out the This Old Nerd site. Find out how to sponsor the show. It's a piece of cake. Let's talk about the most important part of any of our projects, and in this uh, show, it's called the Partner Acceptance Rating. Thunk. Metal sound, right? Now, and don't forget this project was started by my wife. She came to me freaked out. She said to me, I'm going to lose all the photos because my phone may be dead and Apple's going to wipe it out. So then she's very glad to use something like Photosync right now. And when I told her iOS 5 is going to do a similar thing in the future, she was very happy. But the thing is, iOS 5 is still not out yet. So this is a very good stopgap measure. And again, it's only two bucks and it's Apple approved. So her phone is exactly the same. Oh yeah, by the way, she ended up getting a new phone from Apple because the other one, pretty much the battery had exploded inside. Well, she was able to get the photos from Photosync off the server, back onto her phone, her favorite photos all set. And don't forget this other thing about Photosync, by the way. It's not tied down to a particular machine. You know, when you sync your, your iPhone or iOS device, it's like it's tied to one machine. This isn't the case with Photosync. You can just point it to one library and you can push those photos over. Because the thing that's holding her photos is our home media server, the Drobo, the thing that backs itself up. So she doesn't need to know about that. Look at that, the photos are still syncing. That means we wrapped up this episode in record time because the kid's still asleep. And that's very important because if he's not happy, ain't no one happy. Anyway, that wraps up this super quick episode of This Old Nerd. Now, if you know of more applications that do similar things to Photosync, leave those ideas in the comments at thisoldnerd.com. In there, if you go ahead and say, this works for Android, or this works for iOS, or this works on WebOS or BlackBerry OS, put them in the comments so everybody can see them in one convenient location. I'd love to test out more stuff as well. So I would really appreciate that. That wraps up this episode. Like I said, remember to ask yourself this question. How's your tech life? Because it could be better. I'll see everybody next week.